Hello everybody and welcome to today's stream, this morning's stream. I haven't done the Saturday morning stream for a while, but I figured I should do one since I want to get back into doing these on a regular basis. So we're playing Root today. Now Root is a board game that has been doing the grounds uh, in the physical world uh, for a little while now. And it is a game that I have seen on in my local game shop every time I've kind of walked past and... I've been quite interested in it, but I haven't had the opportunity to play physical board games for quite some time now. So I haven't actually bought it. But then I saw that the game has landed on the Nintendo Switch, which is great. Uh, and I wanted to give it a go. So that's what I've done. I've gone and given it a go. Oops, it's just gone dark because I have idled on the controller. So anyway, um, I don't know... The game that well i haven't played it that much i've only gone through the tutorial for uh, one of the two of the character uh factions so i'm probably going to play it quite badly i apologize for that but i am giving you the chance to see what it looks like on the switch and the initial um the initial impressions i have is that it is very good i actually do really like what i've seen so far so um yeah the game has four different factions, and I'll just jump into the tutorial thing. I'm not going to actually play the tutorial, but I'll show you what I mean. The game has four main factions here. You've got the Marquis de Cut, which is great. Uh, the Eerie Dynasties, which is the bird faction. You've got Chris's Unite, which is the woodland faction. And then you've got the Lone Wanderer, which is the Vagabond. And as you can see here in the tutorial, I've only completed the tutorials for the Cat Faction and the Woodland Alliance Faction. What I can say is that they are very different. Very, completely different in terms of how they play and what you need to do and the strategy you need to succeed with them. So I'm looking forward to giving the other two a go as well. I think they're going to be quite different and that is that is good. Um... For any board game that you've got different factions and you can kind of pick the one that you want to master and enjoy different strategies and stuff that adds to the longevity of these kinds of things so yeah good first impressions there's also these expansion factions which are locked um i don't believe i can buy them as yet for the switch i think they're dlc uh your clockwork lizard cult and river folk i'm quite interested in the river folk in particular but I can't play as those yet. So I won't be playing on those as those on the stream either. Right, so let's get into it. Uh, you got local play and online play and shop, which is nothing at the moment. So that is why I think that I need to wait before I'll be able to play as the river folk. But we'll jump into local play. You've got challenges, solo play and pass and play. We're going to solo play. So I think what I'm going to play today is the Woodland Alliance because that is one of the two factions that I have some level of comfort with uh, and they're great. So the cat group, the Marquis de Cat, um, they're a more traditional strategy experience, I guess, where you need to build forces quickly and build resources up and then invade your opponents. But with the Woodland Alliance, you're looking to revolutionize. <laughs> revolutionize. You're looking to um, incite a revolution and take over the land that way via guerrilla warfare and stuff it's basically Che Guevara but as a fox which is great that is definitely for me so I'm going to play as them uh, we've got AI here and you can close or AI, AI. Um, I'll give you I'll, I'll play all the different factions here that way you can see how all of them play at least as far as the AI goes now I wonder if I can I'm going to turn the AI right down because otherwise I'll embarrass myself. There's two different maps as well, but I'll play as the woodland one. Okay, so we create the game. And here we go. Root. So here's the board. And these are the cards that you start with. Everybody gets cards and gets a set up and stuff. Different setups for different factions. bird folk yeah the cats okay so here's how it works the cat people this is going to be really hard to explain on stream quickly but uh 
the cat people start as the kind of dominant faction. They've got little soldiers on just about every plot of land and they have resources to start with and stuff. So they're kind of the empire as such to start with and you they're basically the enemy if you're not going to be them. Um, the area over here starts off with just one, but they're a momentum based, uh, one territory and a lot of soldiers. They're a momentum based faction, so they want to take over things as quickly as they can and expand very quickly. That's the strategy behind them. I haven't played with them yet, but that's what they do. I don't know what the Vagabond does at all because I actually haven't played against them or as them. So there's a little V there. You can see him there. I don't know what he does. Uh, and I don't know how he goes about trying to win as yet. And then there's me. And I play as, like I said, I, I'm looking to Che Guevara up this place and incite a revolution from within. And that means that I need to firstly spread sympathy. So I need to get people onto my side. <laughs> uh, and here we go. This is again a little bit complex to explain. The tutorial is very good and very clear about it, uh, but it does take about a half hour to run through the tutorial. As you can see down in the bottom left here, um, oops, you can see down in the bottom left there, there's, I've got these little mice icons and those mice um, icons represent where I can spread sympathy for territories that are mice owned. So as you can see here, there's a little mice mouse icon there. So I can spread sympathy to there at the moment because I have mice sympathy. That was really badly explained, but anyway, we'll play on. It should probably become clear as we play on anyway how the game works. So I'm going to start there. There we go. So I've started to spread sympathy. We've got a little mousy there. He's got a loudspeaker and he's going to spread the revolution. Next up, I can choose to either build these resources, craft, or mobilize. So here's the different cards that I have. And basically for this faction, you want to be sacrificing a lot of those cards to get units and to do, um, to convert territories to your side. The little uh, number in a wreath there, that's the victory points. And the goal of the game is obviously to get to a certain number of victory points. I think it's 30. So I will be building things and taking on territories to try and build that total. But first, I need to have an army. So let's mobilize. Let's, uh, let's toss that one, mobilize. And let's hold on to the rest for now. So we'll skip on. And there's not much else I can do for my first turn. So here's the Eerie. They're going to take their turn and they're going to try to expand quickly. There we go. They're attacking. So there's some interesting dynamics of play in this game, basically. Uh, oh, here we go. The Vagabond is doing his thing. Go the little raccoon. I have to work out how to play as him. He's cute. Uh, yeah, the game's got couple of dynamics going here. So you've got this one very dominant faction at the start. You've got an upstart military based faction in the Airy. And then you've got these two other factions, the Vagabonds and the Woodland Alliance, who are kind of doing things behind the scenes and underground. And uh, how all of that plays out is, is going to be fascinating to see. This is my first full game of Root. So yeah, I, I can see the potential of this game for sure. So this is all the AI taking their turns. I can't follow what's going on, to be honest. Um, but the cat's already got seven, uh, seven victory points too, so they're doing good. So here we go. Now we can incite a revolt. Now we, we obviously want to do that because that will actually turn the territory into ours. So let's do that. We have a revolt. And... But, um... We're away. Viva la revolution. 
And we now have a commander there. He's our unit. Cute little fox guy. So we actually are now on the board and away. So we are in a pretty precarious position here. We've only got the one unit and uh, we're surrounded by enemies, but that is how revolutions work. We don't have anywhere we can spread sympathy to just yet, unfortunately, so we'll need to continue on. So, this is where things get a little bit more interesting. We can train up our leader, which I think we should. Let's train him up with that one. We sacrifice the ability to... <laughs> look at that. Uh, we sacrifice the ability to get those victory points, but in return, we now have another... A more useful commander as such. We will also mobilize. Get rid of that one. We don't need the root T right now. So we'll get rid of the root T and that will be good for us next time. So moving on. I don't want to lose that. I want to keep that last card. It's an easy way to victory. So now we've got a couple of actions because we actually have a place on the board. We can do a couple of things. What I'm going to do is very quickly build up an army by recruiting. That way, if they attack me, I'm in a better position. So I've got now three soldiers and the revolution is definitely on its way. So now the Eri will attack. They'll try to spread their network of... Uh, Roosts further. There we go, they've got three now. See, if they actually go a turn without expanding, then they have all kinds of penalties. So <laughs> they they have to be very aggressive. That is a faction for people who like to be aggressive. We still don't have a single victory point and the cat faction has 11. So perhaps the revolution is a kind of come from behind win. I'm hoping so. I hope I'm not, I hope I'm not just playing absolutely terribly because I'm in big trouble if I... I think you've got to get to 30. So the cat faction's already a third of the way there. I've yet to get on the board. This is going to be pretty embarrassing if I do that badly. So now we need to spread sympathy. We, we can. Let's go over here. We'll try and expand into one corner. And we'll try and make this little area down here our stronghold for the revolution. Uh, what cards have we got? We've got Scouting Party, Birdie. <laughs> I do like the art in this game. I should have mentioned that. I really like the art in this. Um, I'm not quite sold on the character models, but that's because I've seen the board game itself and it is an absolutely gorgeous board game. But the, the, the art on the cards is it's great. So let's... Um, Let's craft that and get my first... I just desperately want a victory point, so I'm not on zero. Here we go. I've got two victory points now. That's good. I will also... I will... What will I also do here? I'm going to train up my leader a bit further, I think. That's the right thing to do. Okay, so I've done that. Next up, I don't have anything else I can do here because I still want to hold on to that card. So now let's do an attack. Let's get actually fighting. So we move this over here um, to where we've already got sympathy. We'll move two of our soldiers, I think. Move two of our soldiers across. And now we attack. Because they've only got one. So I have got a numbers advantage here. And battle time. You do get to see a little cutscene of the battle going on. And there we go. So uh, to quickly explain how that dice roll works. Uh, you both roll dice. And whichever side is attacking. 
takes the higher dice roll, and the number on there is how many soldiers on each side de is defeated. So that time I had three zeros, so I did three damage to them. They only had ones, but they would have lost three. And I took zero in return because I was the attacker. And as a result, I've now defeated this enemy. So, to finish my turn, I've got one more action. I'll get another unit in. Here we go. Shore up my defenses. And just like that, that is a turn. That was a nice turn. Now I've got... I'm on my way now. I would hate to be the cat player, I think. I think the cat would probably be my least favourite faction to use. Because while they start in a very dominant position, you can just see it. You, you see their territories that fade away very quickly. And yeah, it's just... I, I'm not a great fan of trying to win from leading. I, I, I like to come, kind of uh, come from behind and the, the scrappy strategies of... Particularly, I guess, what the Woodland Alliance seem to do. So... Starting with that big advantage and, and trying to convert that is just not how I think <laughs> when I play strategy games. It's just not what I do. I'm interested in seeing what that Vagabond does. Like, he doesn't seem to do much. <laughs> he, he moves from place to place and he's accumulating experience, uh, victory points, but I don't know how he plays. So as you can probably have tell, as you can probably tell now from the stream so far, there really is a huge difference between each of these factions, like a massive, massive difference, absolutely massive. Um, okay, so I haven't got a clear into revolting. I haven't got any sympathy either. So I'll skip through those turns. Uh, now I do need to. What do we got here? Tax collector. No. Nope. Get rid of that. And I'll probably get rid of both of those. I do need the resources to start spreading sympathy further. Okay. So. My next job. I'm going to be quite boring this turn, I think, unfortunately. Because I've got three turns, I'm just going to build up my army as quickly as I can. I have a feeling that I'm going to need to start defending my territory soon. So. Now I've got five units there. Alright, I feel a little bit better now. That lag that you might have seen there, I think that's more to do with the AI thinking. Uh, the game loads nicely, the, it runs smoothly, so certainly the switch is up to what this game does. Um, and yeah, I think that's just as the AI goes through the motions, that's it's, uh, it's a little bit janky. So somebody's going to want to start turning the tide on the airy soon because, yeah, they're now the leader with 13 victory points. Their expansion has been pretty much unchecked. Oh, the Vagabond actually did some fighting. Good job. I don't know what he does. <laughs> he, just, he just wanders around and... and gets points doing things. I have to play his tutorial once I finish up this stream. I imagine I'm probably going to play this quite a bit actually. Even if I can't play online, it's... Even if I can't find people to play online, but I'm always interested if anybody out there has a copy of the game. Um, yeah, even if I can't find people to play online, I think that I'll spend quite a lot of time playing this game. It's quite, quite neat. It appeals to me. Right, my turn. So... We can, we can institute a revolt here. We did capture, well, we defeated the enemy, so we, we kind of removed the cats from the area, but we can actually now build a base here, which is even better, of course. So let's do that. And we'll incite it. 
we'll we'll spread our revolution. Now we've got two bases. You can have one base on each different type of territory. So that's a wolf territory there. That's a mouse territory there. There's one more type of territory, which is the rabbits, and that's that one. So I guess the next thing we'll angle towards is capturing this territory down here, which is a rabbit, and then having three linked bases together, which is a pretty strong position. It's a very... We'll have our own little Cuba sitting there. Good to go. All right, so... We can't spread sympathy anywhere just yet because we haven't got any resources to do so. We will, because I'm going to sacrifice this one. See the bunnies, look at the bunnies, look you little bunnies. Uh, so I'll sacrifice that one, I'll go without the one victory point for it, but it'll give me the resources to start the process of capturing this territory down in the block. So there we go, we've got the bunny mobilized. Um, ooh, that's neat. That is very neat, but let's use it. I think we're going to use it, mobilize that. All right, let's attack. Let's do this. There's birds and cats down there, but I think we should capture them. Let's move an army down here. Um, we'll have the strongest army if we move three, so we'll move three down. Go little fox men. And we're gonna attack. We get to choose, do we want to attack the bird or the cat? Let's help let's get yeah, let's deal with the bird first, I think. Oh, they've ambushed. That's not good. <laughs> so an ambush immediately destroys a couple of his units and now we're in trouble. Oh no, I lost all my little dudes. That was well played by the bird people. They only lost one and I lost my entire army. So I better use the last action to recruit a warrior back. That didn't go the way I wanted it to. <laughs> but that's okay. It wouldn't be a fun game if every single step went the way I wanted it to. You've got to have a little bit of strategy in there. Oh, so the cat and the bird end up fighting anyway. <laughs> and the cat, they all defeat each other. So they all just knocked each other out. And because, so that one, because the area has stopped expanding, they've failed to expand for a turn. Now they've actually gone through their strike. They've got a new leader, which means they've got to start from scratch in a lot of ways. And that's, uh, that's tough for them. They're still leading the game, but uh oh. The Vagabond close kind of stole my stuff. Piss off. I don't like the raccoon now. He stole my stuff. Terrible raccoon. Let's see if the cat can start pushing back against the birds. If you want to. He's lost a lot of his territory. Oh! Are they attacking me? So that's another mechanic which I'm not going to bother explaining on the stream. Outrage basically means if anybody moves military forces into your territories, uh, they need to give you cards and stuff. Um, it's just a... It's another advantage that you have because obviously the, uh, the revolution is on your side. Okay. So we'll start to spread the sympathy down here. There we go. We have the bunny territory. Oh, we could also go over there, but let's do it. So starting to expand our network of sympathizers, we will need to turn, turn that into that. What's this do? In battle as a defender, may discard this to deal an extra hit. I'm going to hold on to that. That's a useful little card. So I don't want to throw that away. That being the case. 
Do I have anything else I want to do? I'll hold on to those cards. So we've got three actions to take. Um, well, first of all, I'm going to deal with that, that cat that's coming and invading into my territory. Get lost, cat. The Marquis de Cat is defeated. Or one of their little units. Bye-bye. Okay, so now we want to can summon another unit. Here we go. And then get some boots on the ground in this territory that I still want to capture. So let's move two units there. And that was a pretty productive turn. You can have up to five cards in your hand, so if they don't start spending them next turn, then I'll lose, start having to toss cards out, but that's not an issue for me right now. So there we go, the, uh, the bird peoples and the cats are now fully into their little war. The bird people are currently winning, they're at 18 victory points. I still only have five, I'm so far behind. I'm going to lose this game badly. So this is how not to play Root. <laughs> if you buy yourself a copy of this game, uh, do not do what I have done. So everybody else is doing actually quite well, except for me. Slow starter. I'll just, I'll just attribute it to that. I'm a slow starter. I don't know what they're doing. They're just trading <laughs> troops back and forth. Ah, go away, cat. Okie dokie dokie. So, I can now revolt in here and capture that territory. Let's do that for sure. Bam, just like that. We now have our third base. And we're actually up to 11 ex uh, victory points. You do get a lot of victory points for successfully turning a territory into your own. We don't have any more of that to do, so let's... Um, now we need to create some resources. Better Burrow Bank. <laughs> I, love, I love the art, it's so cute. Uh, let's get rid of that. What have I done? No, I want to... The interface is pretty good, but I confused myself there. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Bunny resources. What's this one? Favor of the rabbits. Cultists. They are like that, rabbits. Remove all enemy pieces in rabbit clearings. Ooh. Tough. What's this one? Cobbler. At the start of an evening, you may take a move. Yeah. Not much value in that one either. I'll keep that one. That's the card I quite liked in case I got attacked, wasn't it? What have I done? Did I just undo my entire turn? I did. Sorry about that. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm messing up the interface. <laughs> Uh, pressing the wrong buttons. No! Oh, shoot. I can get the exit there, can I? I didn't want to use that. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, well. There. Ah. Oh. Sorry about these people on stream. I did absolutely mess that up, but I am now figuring my way through. So I just want to get rid of the bunny resources here. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. And get rid of that one. There we go. Keep the rest. Moving on. 
There we go. So what do I do next? I need to think forward again. I'm going to move over to attack the bird people for the first time, I think. I already did, didn't I? That did not go well for me, but I do... This is my next territory that I'm looking at capturing, I think. I want to grab this one. And... I want to send two units at this stage, I think. Yeah, two units. Over there. And I think... I want to move one unit from there down. You have to be very careful about your resources. You're very limited in terms of the number of units you can use. And I'm gonna move one more over from here over here so I have my I'm, I'm all prepared to attack now I have more units than the others but I've run out of turns this time so I'll have to do that next time oh uh, there we go I have got too many cards so now I need to pick one to get rid of well I've got two two of those so we'll get rid of one of those there we go. get lost okay So now we wait for the AI to take their turns. So it does move at a pretty nice snappy pace, so assuming that 30 is the number of victory points that you need for victory. As you can see, we've been streaming for how long? How long have we been going with this game? It has been going for 26 minutes, and the bird people are getting pretty close to victory. They've got 22 points now, so... I would suggest it's probably about an hour long for each game. And that's about right for a board game. I think if it gets longer than an hour, then I've been attacked. Oh dear, I'm definitely being attacked. By, I don't know why you attacked me. I mean, it was one cat against me at home. <laughs> when you're defending as the Woodland Alliance, you're the one who takes the higher dice roll um, because you're doing the guerrilla warfare thing. So it's very difficult to attack the the, um, the Alliance at home. So anyway. Hello, Sota. Welcome to the stream. It is a lovely art, art style, isn't it? It really is a very pretty game. They've done a good job with it. The actual board game is very attractive as well. Uh, the physical board game is, is really nice art. And they've done a good job of capturing that here. Okay, so moving on. Spread sympathy. Better do that, hey. Let's do that. Um, we may as well spread sympathy there as well. That was expensive to do, because that's the home base of the, the birdie people, but uh, it's good for me. I'm not even losing anymore. I've now got 15 victory points, so I'm on top of the world. In Birdsong, may discard this to score one point per... Clearing you rule. I'll get rid of that. Um, bye bye. And I want to keep that one. Because I haven't actually done any of the construction stuff, have I? I will do that. That gives me a free victory point, basically. There we go. For a boot. All right. So now, and I wanted to keep that, didn't I? Yes. No, I want to get rid of that. That's not going to. 
That doesn't work for my strategy, so I'll get rid of that. I think the Vagabond stole the other card I was trying to actually keep last turn, so now I'm down to just that one again. Moving on. I think we need to do some fighting here. Let's try and take on these bird people again. Nasty things. They ambushed me last time. Let's see if I can get the better of them this time. Looking good. Oh, there we go. That's what I like to see. I did lose one little fox man, but absolutely wiped the floor with them. And burnt down their silly, silly building too. That'll teach them. That was a comprehensive victory for me. Um, I might as well... Oh, not fussed about the cat there, I guess. Actually, no. I will get deal with the cat as well. No. <laughs> I'm being very indecisive here. Um, I'll change my mind. I will recruit a soldier into here. And... I haven't got anything else to do, so I will take that cut after all. Let's deal with the Marquis de Cut. Should be this better. Well, that's a bit of a stuttering frame rate. That's the first time that's happened, but anyway. I win the battle and the cat is gone. That is now definitely clear. And like that, I've got 17 victory points. So I have overtaken both the Vagabond and the Cat people. And catching up to the bird as well. Actually, the Cat people, the Marquis de Cat has not had much in terms of victory points since the start of the game because they started with eight or nine points or something. Oh, stop stealing my stuff, you Vagabond. Gosh, that guy's rude. Uh, yeah, so the cat people started with 8 or 9 victory points as it was, and they've only managed to increase that to 13, so they definitely are behind the 8 ball. I mean, that said, the, it, it, the AI is easy, so... <laughs> oh, there we go, they won a battle. Not that it meant anything for them, but they did win a battle. So we haven't got any revolts that we can do. No sympathy. We just need to get rid of some of these things. I want to keep that one. I'm going to get rid of all of those, I think. I think I can actually. No, I'm going to use keep this one. That's a defensive card, so if I attack an opponent and they try and lay an ambush on me, I will not be affected by that now. Now let's get rid of the other two. Right here. And moving on. So... I think the first thing is I get rid of this cat out of my territory here. I can attack the Vagabond too. Should I? Should I? You know what, damn it, we are. Keep stealing my cards. I'm not happy with this guy. Oh dear, he's got a lot of... And I win. Yeah. Lost the guy in the process, but I did knock him out. That'll teach you. Yeah, lost. And now I will get rid of that cat as well. Just to clear the territory. I did lose another one of my guys. That's a little bit unfortunate. Little foxman. Brave soldier. Did his bit. 
did his bit for the revolution. Now, hopefully that vagabond just kind of goes away now. I do like how uh, every time the the airy failed to continue their expansion and the leader changes and the actual leader icon changes, it's a different bird each time. Now they've got an owl. <laughs> That's a pretty cute little touch. I like that. And they're very close to victory now, 27 points. So I'm going to have to really... Wait, what happened to him? Sorry. Oh, because I defeated him, he's had to go away. Uh, yeah. 27 points, I'm going to have to do a lot of very quick expansion if I want to challenge for the title now. I'm going to be beaten by the easy AI. <laughs> That's what happens when you play a board game on stream. The first time you've ever played the board game. Whoa, I'm being attacked. Um, yeah, the first time I've ever played Root on, I decided to do it on a stream. So, of course, I embarrassed myself by losing badly to the easiest AI. Anyway, it is what it is. Okay, no revolts here. Moving on. Spread sympathy. Can I spread sympathy somewhere? I can. Nice. Or do I want to hold on to that? Nope. I better do so. Expensive to spread sympathy there, but I needed to. Gets me extra victory points anyway. Okay, so next up, what do we got in terms of cards? Get rid of that. Might use that one. Get rid of the two foxy ones anyway. Let's craft that for three victory points for free. Nice. Mice make investments. Give me cash. And then convert this one and convert that one into sympathy resources. And I'm set now. Actually, I need to level up. I'm going to have to get rid of that, unfortunately, but I do need to <laughs> train. All right, so moving on. I really am facing a horde of those little mice things. So let's move my resources up there to defend my territory. Just the one over that way. And I'm not going to attack. I'm just going to have to waste the rest of my turns. Not waste them, but not use them. Let's see if the bird people can get their... Last experience points, or the victory points I need. Ah, the bird people are attacking my sympathizers. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> they got very upset with me setting up her sympathy in the in the base. Poor little mousy. He couldn't do anything. He can't fight. He just got slaughtered. So I would assume that he'll end up with the 30 victory points. There we go. That should be victory for him now. Yeah. He got to 30 victory points, so he won the game. So the one that started off in seemingly the weakest position to start with, with only the one base, was able to do what they needed to to expand quickly and defeat everybody else. And the one with the dominant position at the start, the Marquis de Cut, wasn't able to convert and only ended up with 13 victory points. I came in second with 24. That wasn't such a bad result, I guess, for my very first game of Root. 
Um, now I'm going to go away and actually learn how to play the game and maybe do another stream down the point where I show you that I'm not as terrible at board games as I just showed. But actually, it's a lot of fun. It's quite easy to get into. Very easy to get into, actually. It's You can learn how to play the game in about half an hour. Each of the factions has their own tutorial, which takes another half hour to play through. You can pick whatever one you like if you don't want to play through all those tutorials one after the other. Um, and yeah, then there'll be an expansion with three more factions down the track, and who knows what that adds to the gameplay, but given the variety on play, I mean, that Vagabond seems to be playing very differently to the other characters. It could be a very interesting dynamic game. So that is Root. It is not too expensive on the Switch. It's about 40 not even 40 $30, $25. It's not that expensive, uh, and I have really enjoyed it. So thank you, everybody, for joining me on the stream and watching and tuning in. Let me know your own thoughts once uh, you have a chance to watch this. Drop a note in the comments, and have a great weekend, everybody. I think we'll stop the stream here, obviously. It'll take me another hour to play through another one, and I won't do that. But yeah, have a, have a great weekend, everyone. Enjoy the games, and we will see you next time.